Hey, it's Dr. Zoe Von Ash. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, so tell me, what is the problem you're trying to solve with your research? The focus of my research was to characterize um, what our hepatitis C patients look like who are treated in our practice and untreated, and also to see what's difficult for clinicians when providing hepatitis C uh, treatment within family medicine. And how did you first become involved with this area of research? I actually was a resident at St. Michael's. I worked across from the hospital, um, and I noticed we had a lot of hepatitis C patients in our practice, some who had been treated and some who had not. Um, and I wondered, how can we best provide care to them? I looked for guidelines for family physicians. I couldn't really find very many Canadian ones. So I, I focused on creating tools to help family doctors provide more structured care. And what do you hope the impact of this work will be? I hope that it'll allow us to understand who goes for treatment now for hepatitis C and who's a bit hesitant and what we can do to support them in accessing hepatitis C care, ideally within family medicine or within the larger hospital. And how does your work as a family physician impact research and vice versa? I think that my patients really inspire me. I, I hear their stories and their challenges, and it provokes ideas for me as to what research we can do to help improve their health. I'd also like to think my research background allows me to provide a little bit better care day to day. And what do you want people to know about urban and community care research? I think what's interesting about our urban health population is that it's really a microcosm of the world. They're coming. Um, it showcases people from around the world, um, great minds, varied cultural groups, religions, um, and allows us to do really interesting, important research. It also probably showcases or highlights some of our cracks in the Canadian system. Um, so if you think about the social determinants of health, like housing, education, food security, it highlights ways that we could probably be doing better as Canadians. I think if we help work on those issues, the population of our entire country will be better. Okay, and here's a bonus question. If you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Uh, I think pumpkin pie, um, because many of us can find pumpkins in Toronto or close by. Um, our family often will collect one, cook it up and make a pie once a year. It's part of our family's tradition, so I really like it. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Thanks so much.